Shalom, everybody. Rabbi Edelstein here with this week's installment of Rabbi E in 3, brought to you as always by Moor DC. Find us on Facebook or at MERDC.com and learn about all our programs and please be in touch in the coming new year, because that's what I want to talk about a little bit today. The, well, the prelude to the new year. It's almost 5775 in the Jewish calendar. In a few days, God willing, we'll be sitting with family, hopefully, and friends, dipping apples in honey, giving blessings to each other and prayers to Hashem for a good, sweet new year, hearing the shofar wake us up, stir us to new life and new commitment. It's an incredible time of the year, but we're not there yet. We have one last Shabbos of the old year, 5774, this Shabbos. And it's important Shabbos spiritually getting ready for Rosh Hashanah and the opportunities of Rosh Hashanah. And we always read in this portion, Nitzavim, in the book of Devarim, Deuteronomy. This week it's paired with Vayelech right after it. But the words of Nitzavim resonate with themes of renewal and choosing life over death and blessing over curse. Things that are all what Rosh Hashanah is all about. So it's a very important Shabbos to open our ears and our hearts to listen to the words of the Torah. Moshe Rabbeinu, on the last day of his life, Atem Nitzav, says the following words, Atem Nitzavim ayom kulchem lifnei Hashem alokeichem. You're all standing together today in front of Hashem in order to enter the covenant, re-enter the covenant with God, a renewal of the covenant, similar to Rush, one of the themes of Rosh Hashanah, renewing our commitment to our covenant with Hashem as Jewish people. Rosh Hashanah begins 10 days of repentance, teshuva, return. It's hard. It can seem hard. We might feel far away. We might feel like it's unattainable. And we're not the only ones to feel that way. The Jewish people in Moshe's day felt that way too. And Moshe, I'll tell you, reassures them, don't think that way. It's wrong. Can we really do it? The Jewish people are asking in so many words. And Moshe says, yes, yes, yes. Let me read you the words. Moshe Rabbeinu, in, in his words to the Jewish people, has just mentioned the idea of tshuva and actually a, given a prophecy of the whole Jewish people in the future times, and maybe they're not so far away, of the whole Jewish people collectively turning back to God and embracing the Torah once again. And then the next words are as follows. He says, this mitzvah I've commanded you today is not hidden from you and it's not far away from you. It's not in heaven, loba shamayim he, famous words, it's not across the seas that you have to schlep there to get it. No, rather, ki karuv alecha adavar ma'od. The thing is, or the thing or the word is very close to you. Beficha in your mouth, ulavavcha, and in your heart, la soso, to do it. This mitzvah that I've commanded you, those are the words we began with in this section. Which mitzvah? Most commentaries explain it means the mitzvah of teshuva, of repentance, which Moshe had just previously been talking about, although other commentaries say it refers to the whole Torah. But both are apropos. We might think, how can I do it? It's too much for me to do teshuva, or it's too much for me to keep this Torah. Moshe says, no, no, no. It's not far away. It doesn't require esoteric wisdom or going to the other end of the world. It's, it's your life right here. The Torah is about your life. It's guidance for your life, and it's in your mouth and in your heart. It's close to you very much. And what he means on a deep level is the Jewish people were already connected to the Torah. Our neshamas, our souls are connected to the Torah. It's, it's, it doesn't require any PhD. It doesn't require anything but the desire and the will to want to connect. That's what Rosh Hashanah is really essentially all about. And Moshe is saying, whether we're talking about doing the commandments, the Torah, or doing tshuva, returning to God, it's very close to you. It's in your mouth, words to speak, holy words. It's in your heart to think about faith and muna and trusting in God and all we call the duties of the heart. It's in your mouth and your heart to do it, to do the mitzvahs. That's the ultimate expression of our covenant with God. Have a wonderful Shabbos. Can we really do it? Yes, yes, yes. Good job, us.